This tutorial requires intermediate skills, takes about 2 hours to prep and 20 minutes to half an hour to apply. If you're doing SFX already, you probably have everything except those spun cotton balls, but they shouldn't set you back more than, I don't know, 10 euros or dollars. Anyways, let's kick this off. We are creating a nasty spider and the legs are gonna look something like that. So we basically just roll up a uh, regular paper. It's a bit thicker than your average paper though. Rolling it up until it connects to itself and then we cut that off. Taking a piece of tape, sticky side up and putting it on the table. This way it's much easier to roll that leg into perfection. So we take our cut out and apply it to half the width of that tape, roll it up onto the tape and voila, we've got a leg, a very lightweight leg, I might add. And that's the whole purpose here of uh, using paper. We need very lightweight legs. We cut them up because we are gonna put little joints there so we can make them bend. And to do that, we are using glue. Uh, you can use any kind of glue. We are using a glue gun here. And then we put on those spun cotton balls and we have instant joints to our legs and you can of course make them in any shape or have them pointing any way you want so um, yeah go nuts here and since you're gonna make eight of these I suggest you charter your uh, younger sibling to do the hard work here all right so some texture here on the joints and legs using uh, the glue gun again and then a paint job and the results here are awesome you get those pointy nasty looking joints with those knobs on and you can go further here if you want hair on those legs you can glue a little bit of hair but uh, let's continue here with the eyes and again it's the cotton balls lightweight sprayed black and if they are not shiny enough, you can go over them with a coat of sealer or a uh, clear nail polish. We need a set of teeth, as many as you like. These are made from Elemorph plastic. And uh, on that video there on top of the screen, we show you how you make them very easily. On to the topmost legs. And in this case, we have a headband. And those uh, toothpicks are just for... Um, positioning reference so we simply glue those legs straight onto that headband and uh, again you can glue them in any direction you feel is uh, awesome and uh, when you construct this you will notice that this is really where those uh, lightweight legs come into play because otherwise that headband would be heavy as shiz let's continue with the face of our spider and it's our trusty latex paste made of liquid latex and baking flour and we're gonna rush this segment because we have done this a thousand times and uh, this is not really a detailed tutorial as such because this is again where you are free to make your own decisions um, about the styling, the shapes, and whatnot. And when we have the basic shapes here, we push in those teeth. And as you see, Ellie has separated uh, clearly there a hole there between the lower jaw and the upper one to make sure she can breathe through this mask later on. And as you see, we construct this little uh, face in uh, various steps. And that's mainly because the latex paste mix dries up and you can't work with it after a certain amount of time. 
pushing those fat fangs into that gooey mess. And then you know this is gonna look horrific. Next up, we create two little clay balls there and put them on the eye sockets to create a little distance between the eyes and the mask. Otherwise, it will be pretty hard to keep the eyes open if your eyelids keep brushing up against that mask. My spider has eight eyes in Swedish is... Min spindel har åtta ögon. What I forgot to tell you is that between these different steps of the latex paste application, we actually run the mask in the microwave for a few seconds to set that latex a little bit before we continue with the next batch. Next up, time to push those two front legs, the short ones, into the mix, just like that. And then we are gonna create two uh, little uh, prosthetics for the forehead. Another pair of legs there. So we apply that latex paste, smooth it out with a little bit of latex on our fingers. Push the legs in. Make sure it dries. We actually left this for uh, the next day to dry, so... Coming up to the paint job, we are using alcohol activated colors. You can use any kind of colors you got. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we don't want the teeth to be super white, we want them to be more monster-like. They have been used for quite a while, so we're going in with brown all over the teeth and extra yellowish brown-orange on the base. And then we're going in and line the actual, um, yeah, the very edge with a little bit of red. To get that gum look to it. And the crevices here, we go in with a black color because this is where we're going to use uh, our own eyes to look through later on. And around the eyes, we do the same thing here. Give them a little bit of a red edge and um, blend that out. And also additional brown on the complete mask. So, And this year's first shout goes to Sadowska FX a Polish artist whose work is both inspiring and awesome. Go check that out. Finally, application time. There's our ready-made mask. And we start off by protecting our little hairs on the brows there, as well as the edge of our hairline with a little bit of glue stick. And of course, we do this to prevent our hair from getting ripped out when we take off and remove the mask later on. Of course, dark around the eyes is uh, needed to... Uh, well, the cat is not needed, Ellie. Let's continue. The dark is needed to... Um, yeah, make sure your eyelids and eyes don't shine through the mask too intensely. And then we go for some pros aid skin adhesive here to uh, apply the mask to our face that both on the face and the mask itself and of course before you apply this make sure you have proper holes to breathe through either from the nose or the mouth as in this case and then make sure those edges are nice and tight there with additional skin adhesive then the same process for those front legs might be difficult to see the positioning there but give it your best shot again this is uh, where those lightweight legs come into uh, their own heavier legs would just droop off and would be very difficult to apply we add additional paint jobs here to darken down the skin make it a little bit more scary looking emphasizing the neck a little bit mixing it with gray of course, if you want a super green uh, 
toxic spider. Go with the green. A little uh, black hairspray color adds specks and some texture. And then it's hair time. We are using a wig here to get a uh, clean, super blonde look to it. And uh, you can of course use your own hair in this in this case, but it's it's a lot easier with a wig. And boom, you are ready. You are Arachnida, the spider queen of the north or the west or I don't know. Anyways, we hope you like this look, the first one of 2020 and there are more to come because we are back in the game and uh, yeah, I'm back in the game after being sick half of 2019. So there you go, subscribe, give us a thumbs up because we love you, bye.